What's up, Whiskey Taste Buds? I'm here with another Whiskey Wednesday review. Uh, I took a week off um, just because I'm back to work full time now, and, and, and it was a bit of an adjustment uh, going going sort of from from nothing to full tilt. <clears throat> and so I just sort of took a week off from the whiskey business to sort of find uh, a balance and and uh, get back into the swing of things. So, but here I am back again. And I uh, missed you guys, and we'll try and uh, do maybe a couple extra videos in the, in the next few days to sort of make up for, for me being gone. I'm also going to try and do the live session again on hopefully the Friday night, although Friday seems to be starting to get pretty busy uh, in the whiskey world when it comes to live casts and stuff like that on either Instagram or YouTube, so... So we'll make, <clears throat> maybe do a different day, uh, depending on who's doing what and when. Anyway, let's get down to it. Before I get into the whiskey review, I want to do I want to show you guys a couple of uh, other uh, spirits um, that I wanted to share with you guys, um, and that is a couple of different craft gins. Um, I wanted to show you guys, I'm probably not going to do tasting notes on them because I'm not the greatest at, at gin tasting notes. It's either, ooh, I like this, or, ooh, this isn't so good. <clears throat> but these are both fantastic gins. And they have, they, uh, have something in common. They're totally different gin, gins, pardon me. But they have something in common, and I'm going to tell you about that. Uh, the first one is... I don't know if you can read that, but... Shelter Point Distillery Botanical Gin. It's hand forged botanical gin. Uh, so yeah, this is one's bottled at 46% ABV uh, right here on Vancouver Island. Shelter Point Distillery in, in uh, Oyster River. Uh, good friends of mine. And uh, it's a lovely gin great price so like really good value for a craft gin uh, especially if you're trying to support local shelter points done some amazing things recently uh with with hand sanitizer they've been just pumping it out like crazy up there uh supporting hospitals and healthcare workers and, and everybody uh keeping keeping everybody safe and sanitized so uh, i want to give them a shout out again and uh Hot summer weather's come in. This is definitely one that's nice to sip all by itself, but also makes a, a great gin and tonic or something like that too on a hot sunny day. So that's what this one here is. Oh yeah, delicious. Uh, the next one is a real special newly available in BC Isle of Harris gin now what's so special about the Isle of Harris gin well first of all uh, I think it's probably the only gin made on the Isle of Harris in Scotland which is in the, uh, the Hebrides um, this one here is also uh, infused with sugar kelp um, which is really unique and uh, up until now, up until recently, wasn't available in BC, and now it is. So if you guys are gin guys um, or girls and you want to try something really special, check them out. I think you, there's a couple of uh, government liquor stores you can get them at. Um, and then also I think I found this one up at Jack's uh, Liquor Store in Campbell River. Um, so if there's a Jacks in your neighborhood, I know they, there's a few around BC. They might have this gin as well. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more expensive, a little bit pricey, but uh, it's it's worth it if you're if you're into collecting and you like gins. Uh, I would say I'd say grab one. This bottle itself is just amazing if you look at it. This look at that bottle, beautiful bottle design. It even has little indents so that it fits in your hand it's pretty incredible the label itself has bits of copper and sugar kelp on like actually infused in the label or inlaid in the label 
I guess. Pretty amazing. This one's also bottled at 45% ABV. Um, so when I say also, uh, the shelf point's 46, so it's 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 higher than 40%. Most gins are usually bottled at 40% ABV. Um, delicious gin as well. Again, um, I'd say for the price of this one, I would just sip it. Um, don't think it's necessary to mix anything with this. Maybe an ice cube if you like it a little bit colder or you put it in the fridge or something. But, oh, yeah, this one's amazing. Delicious whiskey. Or whiskey. <laughs> Gin. Uh, so earlier I said these two gins have something in common. And uh, you guys are probably wondering what what could it possibly have in common aside from the fact that they're they're a botanical craft gin um well two completely different countries two completely different islands two completely different distilleries but one uh creator if you will um so the um the one of the distillers at Shelter Point Distillery is a fellow by the name of Leon Webb. You guys might know him, um, also known as Whiskey Webb on, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, he has a lot of great YouTube uh, channels recently as well. Check out uh, his YouTube channel. Um, awesome, informative stuff he's putting out there. And he uh, reviews some pretty cool whiskeys as well. Um, yeah, so... He created the recipe for both of these gins. Um, he went to school at Harriet Watt University in Scotland. Um, and part of that education, he spent some time on the Isle of Harris at the Harris Distillery. And he created the recipe for a sugar kelp infused gin. And this is it. And it's won numerous awards for best gin in Scotland. And it's getting a lot of attention throughout the world. Uh, so pretty proud of him. And when I saw it, it's available here, I had to grab it and let you guys know about it. Um, he also uh, created the recipe for the Shelter Point Gin, which uh, is also fantastic. And uh, recommend you going and picking up that one as well. For those hot summer days that are coming. Anyway, enough about gin. That's not what you're here for. You're here for whiskey. So my review today is second whiskey. It like, looks like it's probably going to be a bottle kill. Um, the second whiskey from the last uh, virtual tasting I did for the Blue, Blue Collar and Scholar Whiskey Club. Um, and that is the Balcony 12-year-old Double Wood. Bottled at 40% ABV. So unfortunately, is probably chill filtered and most definitely uh, color added. Um, but having said that, um, it's one of those all-time classic whiskeys that everyone uh, must try. And most people, any collector, will probably have something um, from that distillery on their shelf. It's worth it's worth trying out. Um, <clears throat> It's a space side whiskey. You can see the color there. Double wood, so ex bourbon and uh, sherry. They do things a little bit differently when it comes to uh, their wood maturation at Balvini, but uh, Balvini. But yeah, it's a solid tram. And it was one of the favorites at our tasting. Um, just super smooth, easy drinking whiskey. Has the best of both worlds when it comes to uh, sherry wood and ex bourbon. Beautiful fruit notes. Sherry, lots of sherry influence. But then you have that honey sweetness and the vanilla on the nose this is a one of those go-to whiskeys for a lot of people i 
and there's a reason why because it's incredibly smooth um, you get nuttiness beautiful sweetness soft vanilla cream a little bit of cinnamon in there a little bit of sherry sherry spices beautiful whiskey The finish is fairly long, and it's just muted uh, notes that you get on the palate that just continue on, and it's really warming. Um, yeah, highly recommend buying it. Um, if you ever have anybody that's sort of not sure they want to get into whiskey or start trying whiskeys, not really sure what to start out with, this is a great starter whiskey. Um, it's going to win a lot of people over that may not like a real strong in your face whiskey or anything like that. I like using it in a lot of tastings when you have a big like a, a big mix of seasoned whiskey veterans and sort of newbies um, because it appeals to everybody and even those seasoned whiskey drinkers will will appreciate this whiskey and be like because I do my tastings blind. Um, they'll they'll be amazed at how good it is, and when they realize what it is, be like, oh, I haven't had this in a long time, and it's like it's like an old friend. Uh, so yeah, definitely another one of those whiskeys. I don't remember exactly how much it was off the top of my head. Maybe about a hundred bucks, um, or just under. Definitely worth going out and grabbing and sharing. Salam so,